Now one of the places where I'm usually getting stored is when I exit my street. So here I am exiting my street and there's a person in red here. Is that what happens in government gang stalking? Yes. Am I saying that this person is a government gang stalking? Stalker? No. I'm just showing you what I see. Okay, as I exit my street, there's a person in red. Now I want you to look at how empty these streets are. Now it seems that there's like an alternation. It's either there's somebody here when I go on to Buena Hills or there's somebody when I exit my street. <clears throat> now, of course, I'm not saying that anybody's a gang stalker because I'm not a mind reader and I don't know people's intention, but I'm just pointing out to you that on this empty street, isn't it a coincidence that as I exited my street today, there was a person in red and that for nine years was the primary color I was gang stalked with and today it's the color I'm gang stalked with in addition to white and black. So take a look at the empty streets. Do you find that interesting? I think we need an investigation into government gang stalking. We need an investigation if our corrupt government is getting the neighborhood, surrounding neighbors to gang stalk as I uh, either exit my house or my street or go on to Buena Hills. It's the same pattern. This is another big gang stalking corner right before I go to the end of Buena Hills. Though I never say individuals are gang stalkers, I just show you the patterns and you can see them on my website as I leave my house every day because this is one of the places that I'm gang stalked. And then as I go into the community for the last nine years, it'll be 10 years this May, I'm gang stalked everywhere I go. There hasn't been one day in 10 years, and it'll be 10 years this May, that I haven't been gang stalked as I go into the community. We have an American Stasi, a percentage of our population gang stalks, the National Neighborhood Watch Group Program, first responders, we need an investigation.